Hi, it's Paul from Wicked Acorn, and we are back at that bridge. Okay, beyond here there be dragons. Okay, so where are we? We are in Cheshire, in the historic county of Cheshire. And we're in Sale in Greater Manchester. And here we are in Sale. And this is where we... Uh, want to start our adventure. There's the Timperley Triangle, just so we know where we are. Now, what we're looking for today is the bridge with no name. And if you want to look for it, here's Withenshaw Hall, there's Bagley Brook, there's the cycling track, and the place we're looking for, here's the uh, that tram circle or a curve there you can take note of. Look at this trail here. This is the trail we're going to search out today. And there we go. We'll zoom in. And there's our bridge. There is our bridge right there. Our bridge with no name across Bagley Brook. And we're going to follow this trail. This is our reconnaissance mission today. We're going to follow this trail. So, we've never been down this trail before. Beyond here, there be dragons. So, we have houses, back gardens here. Where's that an allotment? That looks like an allotment. Yeah, I think that's an allotment. And people dumping rubbish or teenagers hanging out, drinking beer. Yeah, there's, there's an allotment here. Never noticed that on the map. Hey, what's this strange bit here? Hmm. Police line, do not cross. Did something happen here? This is a. Uh, is this the. Hmm, what an odd little piece of land. Is this somebody's garden? Oh, I think. It's maybe somebody's garden. Well, somebody beat up their fence. It's unfortunate when that stuff happens. I don't even know that I'm on the right trail here. I don't recall an allotment, but this, it's been quite some time since I looked at the map of this area. I thought I was between houses here. Oh well, we'll walk along and see what happens. And this seems a lot longer than I remember it being on the map. I don't think I'm on the right trail. There's the tram just went by there. Crossing there.
Well, let's continue walking. I'm not certain where I am. So, is this what we're looking for? I don't think this is right. What road is this? Interesting. Nonetheless. I don't see a road sign here, but that continues on. So what would this trail be? There's a way to uh, block this road off. It looks like cars and bikes can go there. I think that's what that means. Okay, I'm confused. I should have looked at the maps before I left. It's been so long since I looked at this. The last time I was over here it was in the uh, in the 30s temperature-wise, and it's not that today. It's, it's not really cold, but it's uh, <laughs> it's just above zero. So I'm a little confused. This is not what I was expecting. I think I've gone on the wrong trail. But it's interesting nonetheless that this trail goes on so long. So the trail I am looking for would have been the border of the hundreds, the Bucklow hundred and the Macclesfield hundred. And a hundred, in case you don't know, is a, is a division of the of a county. A subdivision of a county. Now another fork in the road here. Hmm. This is definitely not the right way. Where does this come out? Oh, there we go. The road sign. Get our bearings. Hockridge Drive. Hockridge Drive. Okay, I'm gonna have to uh, have a look at the map. See where we are. It looks like this trail goes over that way as well. There's all these little trails all over the place here. But I don't think this is the trail we're looking for. This is interesting though. These are the kind of things you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't explore unless you lived in a neighborhood 
or you were a kid from nearby. Okay, we'll make note of this. We'll come back and look at this. I'll continue on the straight and narrow, so to speak. Yeah, so it looks like we are on the correct trail. That's the uh, Hawk Ridge Drive over there. So that's another diversion. Another trail connects up there. We'll have to check that one out and see where that goes. But this trail is, um, it would be right on the border of the Bucklow 100 and the Macclesfield 100. So I guess to my right, to our right, is the Macclesfield 100. And the Macclesfield 100 would have been uh, the main home of the Cheshire Archers. That's where the Cheshire Archers mostly came from. The Macclesfield 100 in the forests of Cheshire. And just up this way, interesting thing I want to include in this story of the Cheshire Archers is and just up this way is Rifle Road, somewhere along this way. And I think Rifle Road was called Rifle Butt Road before Rifle Road. Now, butt is a target for archery. So, at one point in time, okay, we're kind of at the end of the road here now. But, pardon the pun, where are we? Hmm. Now, I think this may connect up to, or would have been, Bagley Road at one point. And Bagley Road went to Bagley, of course. So we'll just go up this way a bit, see if we can see a road sign to get our bearings here. Yeah, so the uh, Rifle Butt Road that was uh, well, we have records of uh, Napoleonic era troops the Salem National Mersey uh, what was the name? Regiment. I can't remember the, the name now. And uh, so they would practice there on Rifle Butt Road, but Holly Hoy Lake Road. Okay, so that's where we are. So we'll have a look at the map and see where we are. I think further on this would attach or this road that we're walking along would connect to Bagley Road. There probably was Bagley Road at one point. All right, we'll have a look at the map. Okay, so here we are. This is all that's left of Bagley Road. It's just this section here by the looks of it. It becomes Cranston Drive here. And right here, this is a uh, footpath. Can we put our little man down and take a look? Yeah, it's uh, just a footpath now. It 
So it is no longer Bagley Road. It is this little footpath. So I need to go uh, check that out. I should have uh, walked along there, but I didn't have the maps and I'd forgotten all this when I was there. So you can see it comes along here, goes down here, and right here it becomes Bagley Lane. Let's put our little man back so you can go street view. So there's the footpath. And if we spin around, there's Bagley Lane. And there we have Bagley Lane. So let's follow Bagley Lane. reorient ourselves north. So Bagley Lane comes down this way. You can see Bagley Lane. And then it turns into, uh, what is that, Frodsham Road here. Goes across here. This was the road with the um, motorcycle car sign in a circle, whatever that is. And there's a little bit that goes back to our trail. The trail that goes back to the bridge with no name. So this would have been Bagley Road. I'm thinking. Because it goes across Bagley Brook into Bagley. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh. went on this way and was the road to Bagley across our bridge and as we know on the other side of that bridge is Bagley so where are we now I think perhaps we go back this way so yeah the trail ends here but I think it continues on this way perhaps hmm I'll have to look at the, the map Look at the satellite of this area. You can see the space between the houses continues on. But it doesn't look like it here. There's a gap, there's a, a fence, and a fence here. And lots of rubbish. Yeah, so it's a little area between the fences there. And quite choked with trees and foliage and bits of chain link fence and things. I've got the camera stuck out in this area between the fences here now. So let's go around and see if we can pick up this trail. So I'm going to need to look at the maps to figure this out. So you can see this border, this border, and if you go back through the old maps, you can see civilization encroaching on this border. Not too long ago, there was nothing here. It was just all farmland. So you can clearly see the, the uh, border here the line of trees 
and the footpath goes along here and right here is where it stops and it confused me because I was looking into this back garden and I knew it continued between the houses but it has this swing around here so I was looking straight at that house which confused me but yeah it, it swings around here and if you zoom out you can you can see it pretty good and here's an interesting bit look at this boundary house and this road here is called Boundary Grove right on the boundary of the hundreds and so this continued all along across the Mersey and apparently crossed the Mersey and ended at uh, Barlow Hall, which is now the uh, Charlton Cum Hardy Golf Club. And there's a very interesting story attached to that. Yeah, there's been some uh, amateur archaeology and they uh, found uh, the road going through this area. All right, we're back on the trail to the bridge. And I think this was probably Bagley Road at one point in time. So yeah, you can see the uh, steel fence and the wooden fence. And this This would have continued straight on through this wooden fence here. I think this little squirrel's been following me. Where's he gone? He's been running along the fence the whole while. I don't know if he's following me. I'm not even certain it's the same one. You see him there? Do we just happen to be going in the same direction? All right, we're back at the bridge and I'm going to play around with the camera and capture some footage for the upcoming video surrounding the bridge. We got, uh, hmm, we got uh, the Cheshire Archers and the patron saint of Manchester, would you believe? So if you want to uh, help us out here at Wicked Acorn, you can visit our website and uh, see you in the next one.